Sick of big and bulky thermal cameras? Tired of wiring and setups that are just too complex? And when the software is in another language, you can't even install it? Well, I've got the solution. Hi, I'm Jesse from VCC Board Repairs, here with my new Seek Stand. The thermal camera solution that will help you find shorts in a breeze. On today's video, let's go over the Seek Stand that I've created, why I prefer this over other thermal camera solutions, and how to assemble it. You can buy the Seek Stand now at the link down below in the description. But before I get started, do me a favor and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with all your friends. So about a year ago, I made a video about my macro lens that I have for sale for the Seek thermal camera. And at the time, I was using a mini tripod stand that I rigged up to attach the camera. But it was a little wonky to use, it was very difficult to adjust the heights, and had to be used at awkward angles sometimes. I didn't feel it was the right camera stand solution, so that drove me to make this custom stand for the Seek Compact Pro. It was made in collaboration with Ben at ProFixer. This allows you to use a thermal camera hands-free, easily view the logic board, and is very compact, lightweight, and very stable. It won't tip over if you bump into it. Most importantly, you can quickly adjust the height and rotate the stand to fine tune the focus and adjust the position of the camera. Also, if you don't have a macro lens, which I highly recommend you get, link down below in the description, you can raise this high enough so that users without a macro lens can still use this stand. There's also a lot of clearance underneath it, so you can fit all kinds of devices. For example, an iPhone, an iPad, and even a MacBook. The thing that I like most about the Seek thermal camera versus other cameras, like the Quan Lee thermal camera, is that it only takes seconds to set up. You need to figure out how to connect this to your PC, deal with static IP and all that complex stuff. It has a very compact design, so you can put it away and bring it back with no effort. It takes up hardly any space on your bench. And due to that compact design, it makes it so that the screen and the board you're working on is all within your field of view. No need to look up away at your monitor and then look back down at the board. It just makes it so much more easier. But in full transparency, it's not a perfect solution. The main problem you'll run into is that the iPhone battery will sometimes drain, and if it's dead, you gotta plug it in a charge and wait at least 15 minutes for it to charge up and boot up so you can start using it again. But if you make sure to put this to charge every other day, at the end of your shift, you shouldn't have a problem. So now, let me show you how to assemble this awesome Seek Stand. When you first receive it, it'll come all disassembled, but it'll have all the parts you need to put it together. Now, it doesn't come with the Seek camera, macro lens, nor does it come with the iPhone, so you need to get these yourself. I'll link those where to buy down below in the description. Also, you need some basic tools like a Phillips screwdriver and some wire cutters. So this is what you'll get in the kit. First, grab the blue camera holder and what you're gonna do is put this post through like this. so that the screw is going towards the bottom. Then what you wanna do is get the screw out and this is gonna be where your base plate goes. So get this out. The bottom is where the rubber feet are. Put this through and screw it in like this. Then you wanna get the phone holder, which already has a quarter inch screw here in the bottom. Then you wanna put it here at the top. You wanna to be careful during this step because if you over tighten it, you could damage this and it will become too loose and it won't be usable. So once you get it to a spot where it stops spinning, then just spin it slowly until the stand is facing you. That way the phone will be here facing you. Now you're basically almost done. Next, we wanna insert the Seek camera here to the front of the holder. You wanna plug in the cable that came with it on the side. You coil up the cable. Like so. You put a zip tie to hold the cable in place. Make sure you leave enough slack on this end.
cut the excess zip tie. Then get your iPhone, put it so the iPhone lightning port is on this side. Trust me on this one. Tie in the phone to the stand, get the cable and plug it in. Now you're able to use it to detect shorts like this one. And there it is, the Seek Stand by VCC Board Repairs. So what do you guys think? Is this something you're interested in? Do you plan on buying one of these? And what are some things that can be approved upon this design? Let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback. So that's it for me today and I'll see you next week.